Hello everyone, I hope you're keeping well. Welcome to Winterton. I'm here on this beautiful balmy summer evening. Whew, that is a little warm. Um, for the heather. Absolutely gorgeous, hope you can see around me. It's all looking rather beautiful. So what a wonderful, wonderful subject for a last sort of couple of hours of the evening's photography. So without further ado, that'll do for the intro. I'll look around for some first compositions and get back to you when I've set one up and we'll take it from there. Gorgeous. Well, this is a nice area, guys, which is only just a tiny, tiny stroll from where I was first filming. I just like the fact that here you've got the purple heavy, you've got those wonderful punchy green ferns, and then you've got the grasses. So you've got really three lovely shades that work really well. Well guys, I haven't moved very far, but there's so many lovely views from here that it's it's just great, you know, brilliant. These, this area here, sorry, should I say, is the area that I've just been using for the abstract images. And now I thought I'd take a wider view, looking back towards the village and the church, lovely layered composition. You've got this beautiful bank of color. You've got the sort of the moorland, heathland dunes type thing in the background, the trees, the church, a little bit of fluffy cloudage above the church. Nice image, not going to win any prizes. Nice image, there's a lovely bit of light. So I'll take this in vertical and I'll take it in panoramic view as well, or horizontal, should I say. And obviously I'll just foco, st foco stack. I've invented foco stacking tonight. <laughs> focus stack, I'll be focus stacking the images. Probably take two or three just for, just for safety. One focused on the dunes at the front here, the grass in the front, one a little bit further in probably the halfway point between that first focus and infinity, and then I'll focus one at infinity itself, and that should give me plenty of scope to produce a nice focus stack image, or a foco stacked image. <laughs> okay, oh, that sounded like Mutley then. Anyway, you better get on, eh? We'll go and find the next shot. <laughs> oh, what a prat. Now this is lovely. Now the clouds have blocked out the sun for a little while. Now for me, this is, this is great. I love subtle light. Don't get me wrong, I love light on the landscape. I do as much as anyone else, but subtle light, I just find that rewarding when you make a nice image from that, those type of lighting conditions. And for me, the purple of the heather and the beautiful luminant green ferns really sing out here. So what I'm doing here, I'm gonna try one shooting towards, towards the sea in the background there and the clouds have become a little bit more pleasing, a little bit higher above the horizon. So I'm including a lot more cloudage in this image. And I think I'll take this vertical, again, using focus stack techniques, not foco stacking. And perhaps now that the sun has gone in for a little while, I'll do some more abstracts, maybe putting on a stopper just to accentuate a bit of the movement in the grasses, but we'll see. But um, I should put up in a, in a wee while, a bit of abstracts, a bit of regular Vista images, and then move on. Well, this actual part of Winterton or Winterton Dune system, the nature reserve here, is my favorite. It is gorgeous. I take this view so many times during the year. It's an absolute beaut at the moment. I mean, look at that heather behind. 
absolutely gorgeous. I know we haven't got any direct light on it. I was having such a while of a time where I was that the sun now is behind sort of heavy cloud. I may get a tiny little show of it in a minute. And I think I may have managed to get one in here very quickly before I then did this piece for you. But we shall see, but it doesn't really matter. Satellite is fantastic. Hopefully those clouds might take a little bit of color. I can use all these wonderful colors here in the foreground. And I've got now beautiful purple in the midground because sometimes that that area of heathland throughout the year can be a little bit monotonous but at the moment it's just absolutely wonderful and those little trees in the middle of it the green punching out of the purple looks absolutely beautiful so I'm a happy boy and as a bonus in my camera bag I forgot I put a boost this really is a wonderful moment and I'm going to enjoy this boost but first a little bit of photography Mmm, boosty boosty boost. Well, obviously I'm still in the same area as my last shot. In fact, I managed to get a little sliver of light, so hopefully You've seen a nice shot with a nice bit of light as well, as well as maybe a subtle shot from my last location or my last setup, should I say. Now, what I've done here is I've just moved a few yards forward and I'm trying to use that lovely little curve in the path. That's obviously one of the paths that goes through the dunes and I think it looks rather nice. I'm going to use it or going to take it in vertical composition using some of these lovely bits of heather down here. The ferns, the grass, absolutely fantastic. Then that lovely little curve, which sort of takes you through to the lovely area of clouds. It's all a bit lovely. Fantastic, really nice evening. I wish I'd have come out a little bit earlier. And actually, I think I might be getting another little sliver of light. So I'm gonna get back to the camera and just see if I can get one with a little bit of light. I think I've got a subtle one. Yeah, back to the camera. Yay. I'm really pleased with some of the stuff I've got tonight. This is an area I know very well, a location I know very well, but it um, never bores me to come here. It's just wonderful. Um, and I think what I've also done, I've probably walked no more than 100 meters. I think sometimes when we get to locations, whether we know them or not, we get a little bit, and I've, you know, I'm guilty of this in the past, where you're just running around like an idiot because there's light and, you know, you've got to be here, you've got to be there, and oh, doesn't that look great over there? But sometimes, just chill, just chill. You cannot get every bloody angle under the sun in the space of a 30 minute period. You cannot. Better to have one or two nice images. I nearly did a Ted Rogers there, three, two, one. I could never do that. Um, better to get one decent image with a nice bit of light or a nice subtle light than 20 or 30 half-assed images so just take your time just my little bit of gibbo wisdom at the end of this vlog it's been a really really nice evening very balmy i think it's going to be a really warm night I'll probably sleep about two hours and this just makes me want to come back there are some wonderful heather locations in our area places like royden common in um, north norfolk kelling heath and into Suffolk, you've got Westleton and Dunwich, which are absolutely beautiful. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get a chance to go there this year and see those places, but this will do for me. If I can't, um, if I can't make it there, Winterton will keep me happy. There's, I, as I look out here towards inland, th there's lovely patches of heather over there. It'll keep me happy. So, you know, don't always be obsessed with having to run around like an idiot. Take your time, enjoy yourself. Life's too short for running around. Or am I just mellowing in my old age? But anyway, look guys, thanks ever so much for watching this one. I've been a little bit out of practice, so this is probably a little bit rambling. But hey, whatever. Thanks for your support. Thanks for your comments. Getting a lot more comments on board now. That is really, really nice of you. Thank you very much. Uh, lots to learn still, but I love doing these and I love being out. And that's what it's all about. Thanks guys, take care. And I hope to see you soon.